from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me for another day of demonstrations. I'm going to be keeping the winter sort of stroke Christmas theme going, but just something a bit different. I'm using my mask. So starting with my positive mask, I've got a couple of Distress Oxides here. I think I'm going to use them all, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to start with Tumbled Glass. It's quite a light blue this is, but we're going to build a little bit of depth afterwards. So placing that down sort of in the middle somewhere, and we're going to just bring in a little bit of colour. This is a really nice blue actually. I've not used this one before. So again, I'm just working around the edge. Just keep blending. Okay. So now we're going to just bring in a little bit of colour on the inside. Just line that up the best you can, but don't worry too much if you don't get it exact. We can just cover that. So this time I'm going to use the uh, Seedless Preserve. Now it's quite a strong colour this, so you don't need much at all. And I'm just going round the edge. Okay, and now I'm going to use iced spruce. And this just kind of calms that brightness down a little. Okay, and I've got some torn paper here, so I'm going to pop that down. Which way shall we go? Actually, I need the, the other side. So, popping that down, going back to the ice spruce. Okay, and just to give us a little bit of sharpness down here, I'm going to use the finger dauber and then the twilight. You can just mix and match all your colours. Don't be worried about experimenting. It's always worth trying. Okay, and then I'm going to move that to a different angle. Which way shall we go? Actually, I'm going to carry on going down. Because I'm going to put some hairs in this one. I'm going back to my eye spruce.
and then using the twilight just to go along the edge there. I'm only using this one because it gives us a little bit more depth because the oxides they're fabulous colours but they're chalky so you don't get depth so much with the oxides and then I'm going to stamp this verse over the top I'm going to ink up in twilight, but I only want them to be I want it to be very very faint. So ink up. I'm going to stamp off making sure that that's straight. Okay, and that's that's enough. All I'm going to do now is put some trees um, on the outside. So I'm going to go back to my mask. And then um, my little tree set. And we're going to ink up in warm breeze. And then moving on to my sm the smallest tree in the set, I'm going to ink up in twilight. And then this is our larger tree. I'm going to ink up in twilight and I'm going to stamp off. I'm just working my way all the way around the card like so so while I'm here I'm just going to add a little bit of depth around the edge of the card, sorry, the edge of the um, circle, the mask. So we've just got our little hairs now to bob down in the centre. So I'm going to ink up in the twilight.
and then I'm going to pop him on the hill just there. And then our lovely other hair alongside. Okay, so finally I'm going to just add a little bit of glitter now. So I'm just going to dot around the edge. And maybe a little bit round by the hairs as well. Okay, and this time I'm going to use the holographic. There we go. Another sort of quick, easy and effective card I think. It's quite nice with the trees going around the edge there. But something a little bit different. Well I hope you enjoyed the demo guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.